Wow, well, we just heard this from Tyler! We cannot escape that fucking beat. This is the fourth time we've heard it. <laughs> Uh, yes, bro. Yes. Good guess. Good routine. He's, you sold him Let good, me get bro. on your video, bro. That's not done. That's not done. Oh, goodness me. I'm a sucker for those types of flows. He's not done. Stop it. That was so bro. hard. I don't really have words. Hello, my beautiful people. This is sensitive nipple. I'm sensitive nipple. And I am non-sensitive nipple. But together we are jungle beats. Are you? Mate. <laughs> Mate. This is non-sensitive nipple. Sit down. Sit your sensitive nipples down. Everyone tells you to sit down. Everyone just wants, well, everything we do in life is just, we stand up to sit down. We're going places to sit down. Dude, it's like Big Crit says, you gotta get up to get down. La pa da da pa da da Sit down. Yes, Daddy. This is a this is a very um interesting relationship we have. Anyway, do you have the choker? Anyways, um, yeah, to the back. We're Jungle uh, Beats. We're Jungle Beats. Australia's pod to the sleepiest reviews in the country. <laughs> um, he may or may not fall asleep during this, even though he has a coffee. That is a absolute lie. This is Sylvan Le and yeah, I don't know, like, Sylvan the Q and me have a good relationship, man. Oh, Sylvan, man. He dropped one of the hottest albums this year. Wow. If not the hottest, we don't know yet. We were so impressed by Sylvan and... Apologies in advance. Incredible album, I still go back to it. I go back to it every week. Yeah. Every week. And he's come out, man, and, and he's dropped a visual mixtape. So he's come out, he's gay? I didn't know Sylvan was gay. Continue. He's dropped a fucking 12 track visual mixtape experience. And we're going to be reviewing it here with the music videos and put it on the screen for you guys. Yeah, man. Sylvan's fucking. He didn't need to drop more music this year, but he did. Can he top his I'm work? I'm excited. Can he top himself again? I don't think he will because it's a mixtape. Like, mixtapes are very different to, in my opinion, to albums. Because you can be a bit more free with mixtapes. You don't have to care too much more about... Like, you can, but you don't have to, I feel, care too much okay. more about okay. the more overall message and cohesiveness. Okay, all it's right. a mixtape. Okay, all right. So I'm just going to take this as more enjoying it than seeing a bigger message. Okay, but I'll all still, right. I'll still pay attention if okay, there is one. Okay, all right. Okay, all right. Okay, okay all, all right. right. Let's play this, bitch. Florida man. We know he reps his, his state, his country... Huh? Country. <laughs> his country, Florida, the newest country joining all the country, the new flag on the Florida state for some time. All right, fuck it. Let's all come together. <laughs> Intro. Look at my man, look at Swabby. He's responsible for a large percentage of abnormal incidents that occur in Florida. Think of him as an outright Johnny Appleseed. Florida man shoots unarmed black teenager. Florida man bursts into ex's delivery room and fights a new boyfriend as she's given birth. To prevent black people from coming to and or registering to vote in Florida, or no, no, of course. Yeah. Time on it. Alright, time music back on? Yeah, sure. So that's the intro. Florida, man.
<laughs> what a unique laugh. Okay, all right. What a, what a fun track. Man, his delivery was oh. really entertaining. His voice pitching as well to go from like that, more higher pitch, I go into it, then back to the old, oh, sort of, like he's just voice pitching so well. well and that's done. what helped make it so engaging. Mm. Um, I, every time, this is clearly repping Florida, mm. the, the Florida city man, Florida man, Florida man, Florida man, Florida man, Florida man, Florida man. And every time he referenced something about Florida, he showed the imagery of yeah. it to give us an insight. Exactly. Because we, we don't know. We, I've never been to Florida. He's never been to Florida. We're not Florida men. I've never been to America, bro. So people like us aren't going to have an understanding of what, that, what the energy's like. But mm. he's given us an insight into that. I mm. appreciate that, Sylvan. I know you might be watching this. So I appreciate that. I fuck with it. Like I said, his, his vocals were amazing. I'm, I think I've heard that beat somewhere before. It sounds familiar. Oh, real quick. I liked how he was referencing um, police, like the violence and death and murder that is happening in mm. his state of Florida. Referencing police and probably a subtle references to what happened with X. I know he was affected by that mm. and rocked by that. So I like that, that, the sentiment. It's gone bad. Very They're like, I know much about X. Yeah. I know much about death. No, he said, I don't know. He said, I don't know, didn't he? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, that's, what, that's what I said. Right. So at least he's admitting his ignorance, but he's still, you know, respecting them. Yeah, because he realized what, well, you know, he was a very young man. He also repped the city as well. So he understands the violence and a lot of the stuff behind that. So yeah, two really dope tracks. Yeah. And two I want to compliment the sometimes... When you have tracks like that, it can be a jarring transition. I think that was not a bad transition. I think it was quite smooth. Mm. I, I thought think... it was a smooth transition as well. Really cool using uh, the sample from, or the beat from uh, 17, the track he did with Trippy Red, XX did. Yes. Um, yeah, Sylvan just using his vocals once again, absolutely beautifully. Voice control on point, crazy flows, so and catchy. The first verse was so passionate, mm. brought so much energy which really just brought you into the track and made you care about what he was saying. Mm. And even, I like the way they do um, with the camera as well, how like, you know how they speed it up? Like he's still rapping, yes. but they, they speed it up when he's in the car, when he's walking, like, how I do love they, it. But it still matches. It still he, matches. How I, do they do that? I don't know. I've seen it used in many video clips. I know Watsky's used it for a few as well, but um, it's fucking cool. It I really, is. I fuck with that, Sylvan. It's really cool. I, he mentioned J. Cole, and then he mentioned about the things that the youth are doing. I don't know if it was, it was like a shout out to J. Cole or him just being like the J. Cole's going the wrong way about it. I, I, I got the sense that it was kind of like questioning like yeah, J. Cole's I, intentions. I, I got a very contrasting manner. Like he was just like, this is what you mean, but like, this is how it is. Like right. you ain't seeing it in the way that the bigger people, like that's how I got like, like and he, I kind of got in the light of like J. Cole, you ain't lived through these people's shoes. You ain't get why they're doing this shit. Hmm. 
I don't know. Snappers on Sunday. That's a dope name for a track. Shout out for SB Hulk Hand again. Oh, this is the uh. Wow, we just heard this from Tyler! Oh. People love this thing! <laughs> this is fucking hilarious! It's a dope shirt. What are you doing, mate? Fuck's sake. You're fucking up everything today, mate. His voice goes up that pitch. Like, yeah, such a big jump in energy. Yeah. 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 Short and sweet. Ah, I said too much. We cannot escape that fucking beat. This is the fourth time we've heard it. In the we last reviewed it months. twice, and then Tyler did it. Yep. And the same fucking day, Silver did it. Who did it best? Uh. Silver McHugh. Very easily. As you said, please talk about how the change of his ability mm. to change pace is so oh. what good. And even as the whoop, like that's the first time we've heard someone use that higher. That higher ended voice, because Tyler used the low voice, Drake used the low voice, not even gonna mention little baby. Silver did the best. His voice control, as we've said throughout this whole mix up so far, has been superb, stellar, ace, I fuck with it. Nice track. Bang of the week, bang of the week, bang of the week. Nice See when someone just loose, they don't care. You can tell it's Silver. It's cool. I love this, the shots they do. The shots are so beautiful. Silver's really good at capturing his shots. Anyway, that was that's probably the most lackluster track. I think, I think it's just because G Mighty didn't really show. Like as soon as Sylvan came on, we're just like, oh yeah, cool, yeah. cool. But I think G Mighty took too much of that track. But Sylvan's just trying to probably help out a fan. Oh, yeah, and legit, like that's the thing. It's a mixtape. He's free to be a bit more creative and fuck around a bit. And yeah, he's, like I said, he's putting on for G Mighty. I wasn't a big fan of him, but hopefully this gives him a bit of exposure to keep pushing himself. So, and straight up, Sylvan, your dancing's amazing. And if we ever in Florida, please let us be in your video clip because my dancing is eight, as, eight, eight, eight. My dancing is as, is, as, is as free as yours, bro. Yes, bro. Yes. Good guess. Good routine. Yeah, that's way to sell him. Yo, bro. He you sold him. Let good, me get bro. on your video, bro. I'll, <laughs> I'll make it as cringy as possible, bro. Oh, shit. That's <laughs> hilarious. Quest. You see that? Uh, quest. Yeah, these people cool quest. Yeah, I like that. Oh. 
He's not done! Stop it! My neck hurts from bouncing too much! Yeah, damn boy, quest up again, boys. Do not disturb. Because if you if you listen to when he was under quest, when he was quest, if you listen to his music when he was quest. Is that a question? Is that a quest? Do not question, bro. No, because the flow that he used there was very similar to how he used to sound. That's how he used to sound. Mm -hmm. Fuck, bro, I got, I'm missing. I got to go back. Yeah, man. So this obviously he's brought quest back to this song. So I think when he's saying do not question, he's saying do not question my hunger. Do not question my integrity, my skill set, my talent. Mm -hmm. Oh, goodness me. I'm a sucker for those types of flows. Bruh. That fucked me up. That was so much fun. He came in hard. I just love how he's like, do not just, do not. And then he's like, when he said, y'all disturbed, like obviously the beast was awoken. You disturbed the beast quest. And the beat was absolutely perfect. <laughs> that hard hitting. <laughs> Just drum bass line. Oh, man. Whatever the fuck that was. That's something Big Sean would shine on. Oh, goodness. Oh. That's one of the hardest hitting. I need a... Bro. Bro, get this on Spotify if you can, man. You fucking me up, or man. Or some streaming platform. That was so Bro. hard. I don't really have words. I need to write that down. Ooh. I'll do it later. I remember. Goodness fucking me. Oh. Imagine a whole album like that. There's bars. I know, it's too much. Stuff. It's too much fire. I'm already knocked out from that track, bro. Got me. Got me good. Hey, everybody, you love what you see. Hate on the character, not what it brings. Some things will never be quite what it seems. Hold on the family, fight for your team. I know some niggas are stuck in the system. Not a big the body was with us. I feel your struggle, though, nothing compares. My nigga Rambo got two, it was hard. I would die for a future that gives him an air. Tough holidays, trick on the speed, and he kept us together through passion and music. For that, I forever will pay my respects. He gave us a path and fuck up the rest. This one morning was chained on my next. We saw the traps and avoided the threats. I think it's time we got back to what's next. I think it's time we got back to what's next. Oh, I like that. Might have had bad oh, intentions, but, but how much grinding is too much? How do I maintain the balance? How do these situations make you realize that what's at stake is always bigger than you? One bang of the gavel, corral my family, turn my foundation to gravel. Been grappling with my anger in the way that they channel. The scene the darkest of these chambers can't be saved by the chapel. Disenfranchised for compensatory gain, they can't move me, they can't move us. Bitch, you can't gentrify a gangster. You know how much I mean to my people, you got me twisted. And if it's destiny, we might revive the broken friendships. My legacy indicative of everything I'm giving. Man's built. Yeah. Man's a small truck. Small truck. This should be a rap man. Well, small truck, little truck, little truck, a little boat. Why not? So that was what? that was super heartfelt, man. I like that a lot. Really, you get that that struggle feel throughout that track. Yeah. Like they've all mentioned, they dealt with losing loved ones. Yeah. It's just really depicting what it's like to just. I mean, it's very relatable, right? Mm. It's just like, it's extremely just relatable, honest, just r real track. And the features on that were really great. And three artists with three completely different styles, but they made it work. Like when Rambo came in after, after Sylvan, I lent him straight away. So I'm like, this guy's voice yeah. is hungry. Yeah. And you can hear the pain throughout it. And then when, it, when, the, then when Philo B was introducing himself and came in there, I was like, his pronunciation was really crisp and just like you could hear him just like really hungry as well on the beat like all those two features we saw when they shone ever so brightly as much as yourself really beautiful track really beautiful track agreed mm. super heartfelt i love that and the sentiment it represented i'm assuming they're from uh, maybe florida as well it really seems he's putting on for his city with his mixtapes i like so. that 
Uh, I crack my window and I crack the snow. Uh, all for the grand like a Jackie Brown. Like a West Coast thing. I won't hit the spot if they gon' pat me down. That's a fact, my nigga. And I'm wearing Jackie Brown. My black Tim's gon' do everything. Big poppy yellow gold chain got a heavy swing. I balance all my baby girl highs and lows. And when she whine, all her tears she had to tell her I'm go. I'm mad for that everybody that ain't with us. I drank too much liquor for painkillers. I listen to Jay Dilla and Spain Villas. Got a rich, toxic mind and stained livers. God darn it. So, said fuck bitches, get money since a little boy. I fell in love with anything that might fill a void. Like Rolexes, Beamers, Benzes, and bigger toys. As I'm chasing after dreams like I'm Sigma Freud. Cool. There ain't no chemo for being emo, so I have my pain behind these white cell frames. And I live for the cars that I'm a god who tame. And I live for the mistakes that I don't got to explain. Is it love? And is it hate? I got the car swerving, I can't see straight. I'ma drive the bands off the golden gate. Tell Kirk O'Bain, meet me at the pearly gates. It's part of my slang gestures. I've been a broad girl, my demons from Mars. You feel my presence hot enough? I see your nasty pasta. He says, Can we stop with the fucking great music by Silver on the Queue? The West Coast beat just killer. All features yeah. killer. I want to check out all those artists now. I'm just loving how he breaks the boundaries of what you can do with a beat <sighs> like that. Because that beat came through and those features were both beautiful. They both did their thing. And they both rode the beat. But then Sylvan came in and he didn't ride the beat. No. He created his own beat within the beat. And that's why I was thinking at the start. I don't know if I'm feeling the flow on this. I don't think it's, it feels disjointed. But then, boom, 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 boom. That's exactly what I was doing. When Sylvan started going on with the beat, I'm just like, is this really working? Because the other two features rode it so perfectly. But the more that Sylvan went through, I'm just like, it works. Yeah. Sylvan creates his own. It's like Sylvan sees the beat and he's like, I don't want to tackle it the easy way. I don't yeah. want to tackle it the way every other rapper's doing. Yeah. Let me tackle it my way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he does, and he tackles it his own way, and he makes it work. He Tell makes him. it fucking dope. He Tell challenges him. himself again and again and again, and it just fucking works. Tell him, bro. Wait a fucking time. This is why... This, so, people like Silver make me really love music. Yeah, man. Love hip-hop. It's, it's just... Man. It's just amazing. And at this rate, I don't see why this wouldn't be in the top 10. Once again. Man. It might sneak in there, bro. Man, I want to know, Sylvan, did you, did you first listen to that track before and you were just like, and you started rapping to it like you did the beat and then you were like, fuck it, I'm going to fuck it up? Or did you originally just fuck it up because you're just fucking awesome? Good question. The visuals are great. Yeah. It's nice awesome. having these visuals to this whole album. Uh -huh. Badass fool, bad moves, broken with many dreams of rap, spend attention for rap into trenches. My nigga P used to pick me up from the robber station, $20 on pump, whatever, I ain't got enough to fill it. When I am late at night, hoping girls will come through and chill with a nigga and talk about all the shit a nigga don't want to hear. Oh, this is Aston Martin music, Rick Ross. You didn't, that's why I called it Penelope Cruz music. Yeah. Aston Martin music. Penelope Cruz music of the beat of Aston Martin music on Teflon Don Rick Ross does it justice because that's a classic tune and he wrote the beat his delivery and tone it's not like he's forcing a hard track or a high tempo flow when it's not there mm. he, his flow matches the beat every time seamlessly is Rick Ross from Florida? yeah he's from Florida yeah. I wonder if all the beats he's using this album are from Florida artists like I wonder if Little Baby's from Florida huh because if he's really putting on for Florida, because Rick Ross... I think Lil Baby might be from Florida. I think I read I that. Think I think we're catching a, a theme here. Like, not only is this Florida man, the concept like him, of that... But, like... It's like everything he's using this album, the features, the instrumentals, like, everything is purely Florida. He's I love really that. rapping. 
And uh, to, to mention as well, uh, the line about money, his wordplay, I don't know if you heard it, it's like he's trying to foresee a future, like what happens, I'm trying to, just trying to make it to six, seven, nine figures without losing my spine or mm-hmm. something like that. It's really clever wordplay um, that is for, foreshadowing like a future, like how do I maneuver around this success and fame and money? Mm. I love that. Another feature, it's probably gonna be dope. Another dope track. That was a fun track. Oh, just fun. I love the beat. How Laid it just back. sort of like it just it just quite hypnotic in a way. I don't... And I like the, you know I'm usually like uncertain about features like that, but but I didn't. It worked. I didn't mind Prez P. You know I actually kind of liked him. Prez P was nice on that beat, man. I was the same. Like this feature like that, like you said, like normally they're very similar, so they don't really shine that well. But he was really cool. And I like to switch up towards the end. Mm. Oh, the switch. switch up was smooth, man. Sylvan did his thing. Really, really dope track. Here's to what we learned. Come on, let's hear to what I learned. Yeah. Uh, they love me memory. T-Pace. T-Pace from Florida. Is he? I'm pretty sure. Look it up. I believe you. Like, it's true. No, I believe you. reminded us grandchildren not to fuck me. Try to keep us together, even through all the records. I think I'ma stop on that sentence. Save the rest for another time. Let's get back to the present. California blessed through my mistakes, learning my lessons. Never sober niggas up if you ain't getting the message. Have I started man in my Florida, then moved to North Miami Beach. I was seven. Back when 99 Jans was road calling and rapping. The city divided but taking advantage of. I heard how niggas talk about us. Boy, they'd rather walk without us. Why, man? <laughs> Wise, wise, wise man. He knew I'm sorry. Yeah, well, punchline was killing niggas in lunchtime. Ghost was even spinning with the craziest gun lines. I used to dream about killing shit in the future. I guess I thought I'd bring it back. Show you how to get to that so we can kill it. Yeah. Hey. Hey. I love his fucking shirts, shirts, man. His shirts are dope. Yeah. I reminiscing, but I've been blessed with a clear vision. I couldn't get out there. I had to come back and listen. Yeah. He paints inspired, obviously. Yeah. yeah. See what he's doing now? That's the T Pain, that's the T Pain hook in this original track. Oh, it was? That's what that's what the song was. I started rapping with other people around the city, like, you know, Fresh James and Jay Nix and Mark and you know, Jay Nix and Dark Blue work with a logic and you know that ended up going sideways and so I decided decided to start my own label and call it wise up. And I changed my name from Quest to my real name, Silver Q. In May, I got the phone call that she passed away. And it's funny enough because I was dealing with all of um, these things. And in the midst of all of that, I said, nah, fuck this, I gotta go home. You know, she understood that she had to die in order for you to come back home hmm. and see her. And that's what this Florida Man tape is about. So my testament to my grandmother is uh, keeping the city together, keeping the state together. All in all, my message is, let's come together. Why's up? Damn, that's a powerful way to end the album. 
Yeah. On the on the T Pain instrumental, so obviously another man I'm guessing from Florida. I'm loving how I wonder if every single instrumental from this album is from a big Florida artist. Because some of the instrumentals we didn't pick up, and I'm assuming every instrumental is from a Florida artist. But the the outro there saying that your grandma was the the reason to tie all this album together, how it sort of it took her death for you to come back to your family and how that sort of stemmed you like keeping like Florida together, keeping like your family together, your friends together, all this time back to your grandma and what and how her death title is in. It's it's a it's a powerful message, man. She'd really be, powerful she'd message. She'd be proud, man, because you've taken what your grandmother did to bring a family together and you're applying it to you've now made Florida your family and that's gonna to touch tens of thousands of lives instead of just a small circle of of people and that's something you should be proud of and I'm sure she would be proud of um so you know no matter what happens always like have that in the back of your head because that's beautiful so it ties back to kind of like the end of apologies in advance in a bit like because remember at the end of that he goes he wants to stop hurting so we could help others kind of similar in regards to this in a way right like he kind of opened up in the way of seeing how how it took his grandma's death for this to happen for him to spread out and, and do that as well right uh, yeah, so for a mixtape that we thought was just going to be more fun and about, about uh, just about Florida, it ended up being a lot bigger message than we originally thought as well. So even for a fun mixtape, there's huge underlying meanings there. Every, I, I, to re- wrap up my thoughts, uh, I liked pretty much every track well above average. You know, um, I thought every track had a purpose and it was always either fun or it had some type of underlying message mm. to it that relevant to, you know, the Florida message. Instrumentation was strong. Go ahead. I was going to say, also, I just love how the, the very first track of this album is him introducing it. But if you notice, every single video that's on this album is in the very is in the intro. I just love the, the visuals were beautiful. Like you said, this, this, this mixtape is a South Florida visual experience. Yeah. So you get to see his beautiful city. You get, to, you get to see all the features. So like all your features were dope, man. There wasn't a bad feature. Besides, I wasn't a big fan of the G, G someone. No, no offense to him. Like... You know, he's probably still young. He's still probably trying to figure out himself. So, but still, it's beautiful of you for putting it on for him. But besides that one track, the rest of this album was flawless. The best track to me was Do Not Question. That track went hard as fuck. Sylvan, you've done it again, man. You, you've, you've done it again. And you've impressed us all once again. Thank you so much for this project. You didn't even need to put out another album this year, man. No Apologies in advance. It's fucking hair crazy, bro. You got to put out more good shit. But it's a real smart move. It's going to keep you in people's word of mouth. Very smart. I hope Wise Up continues to gather more support. I, I hope that your dream that you're fulfilling keeps getting fulfilled and further more than you ever expected yourself to get to. And you keep putting on for your people, man. Doing what Kanye did for Chicago, bro. Keep mm. doing your thing. Well, some would say, and I think Sylvan touches on this, that Kanye's reached such a level he's become so disconnected from Chicago. And that I think Sylvan doesn't want that to happen i think he's afraid of the part that's of that. what he said in that track right so maybe that's like him like maybe he wants to get to a level where he can be in Kanye's position to help his city but actually not get sidetracked like chance it. yeah which yeah, exactly like chance Sylvan so the thank you so much brother this uh if we're ever in florida we'd love to check out the parts of florida that mean a lot to you yeah, man even if we can't see you just tell us where all the places to hit up and we'll check out all the beautiful places where you be man all right man jungle beats <laughs> Make sure to follow us everywhere because we be reviewing beautiful music like this, man. Silver in the queue. I love it. Florida, man.